Welcome to the 23-24 season and the first weekly whistle. This is Chris Rastatter, NCAA Men's Basketball National Coordinator of Officials. There were numerous rule changes made prior to the 23-24 season. The rule that will undoubtedly get the most attention is the subject of this week's video, legal guarding position. Last season, a defender needed to establish guarding position on an airborne player prior to that player leaving the floor. However, this year, Rule 417-4D says, when the opponent with the ball is airborne, the guard shall have established legal guarding position before the opponent places the last foot on the playing court prior to becoming airborne. Let's look at some plays to help illustrate the change. Blue 12 establishes guarding position outside the restricted area. However, he does not get both feet on the floor prior to white 23's last foot touching the ground. Last year, this play was correctly called a player control foul. This year, however, this play will be correctly called a blocking foul on Blue 12. In this play, White 44 drives to the basket and elevates for a floater. Black 0 establishes legal guarding position outside the restricted area. He does not, however, get both feet on the ground before White 44's last foot touches the floor. This play was incorrectly no-called. Last season, an offensive foul was the correct call. This year, however, with the new rule in place, this play will be correctly called a blocking foul. White 30 drives to the basket and Black 31 attempts to take a charge. Black 31 is late and does not get both feet on the floor prior to White 30's last foot touching the floor. Last season, a player control foul was the correct call. Once again, however, this play will now be called a blocking foul. White 0 drives to the basket. Secondary defender Black Zero attempts to establish guarding position outside the restricted area. Pay close attention to White Zero's feet. Rather than jumping off his right foot, White Zero takes another step, thus making his left foot the last foot to touch the floor as he crashes into Black Zero. Given that last step, Black Zero is now a legal defender and a player control foul is the correct call. White 21 rolls to the basket and receives a pass. Black 2 establishes legal guarding position outside the restricted area. On this play, Black 2 gets both feet on the floor prior to White 21's right foot, his last foot, touching the floor. It is important to note that no time or distance is required to defend this play since White 21 is in control of the basketball. This play was incorrectly no-called by the crew. This is an offensive foul on White 21. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Weekly Whistle. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and now have a better understanding of the new rule. I wish you and your teams a healthy and successful season. We'll see you next time.